Welcome back for an all new product preview with Frank from Dandy Engines. We've been on the dyno today, mate, making some numbers. Yeah, these things are pretty impressive. The Gen 5 architecture from GM was released in 2014. So 10 years ago, the L83 5.3 litre came out in the trucks. Fast forward six years to 2020, we started looking at the 1500 Silverados. They had an L86 6.2 litre alloy block truck engine. And then soon after the L87 came out, we co-developed the kit with Walkinshaw Performance, which is on the channel. And then around that time, the heavy duty trucks got the gasoline engine. So it's an iron block. It's almost a replacement for the L96 6 litre LS engines. 6.6 .6 litre displacement, a little over 400 cubes. It's becoming popular in the US because it's got this great drive system that's got the water pump centralized and we've done some testing. Yes, it's gone well. Now, Frank, you've run one of these engines standard here. Yes, we have bog stock standard. They make about 400 horsepower. Which is around about what the 6.2s make. And we know with the supercharger, the 2650, we see about a 50% gain, which takes them up to about 600 horsepower. We wanted to make more with this engine combination and we did a piston we rod did, combination. Yeah, we, we, we thought it would be stronger with piston rods, camshaft. So Brian Tooley Racing, uh, we've used their Stage 2 PD blower cam, which has been really fantastic. The heads, we had Higgins Race heads clean up the ports. Now we've had some fun over the years with some Ford engines, but Dandy Engines sees a lot of the GM V8 family come through as well. Yes, and it's, and it's very common to put pistons and rods in any boost of the engine that we do. And it's really a fairly basic combo when you look at it. The crankshaft from the factory is a forged steel crankshaft, so we've got the standard crank. I mean, like they're 400 cubic inch out of the box, number one. You can use a standard crank, you can use the standard oil pan, the standard oil pump, even the standard timing chain kit. Mm. You know, other than locking it out, this engine is pretty much standard with just some very basic components. And, and it's, you know, like pistons and rods is a must if you're going to lean on it. Now our new supercharger, which we're here to talk about, it's a top mount design, as you can see, it's using our Mark II housing, but importantly, it's got the fuel rails integrated. So we're running this like an LS engine. Correct. So the DI ports have been blocked off. We've got fuel tech, big thanks to NADS for supporting on the engine control. To make the lower intake manifold more adaptable, we've got it drilled for both the intake manifold hole positions for LT1 and LT4 heads. The drive system, we've got it set up here running the six rib at the moment with a factory balancer. And the numbers out of the box, they were pretty awesome. Oh yeah. With this pulley combination, the stock balance is 187 millimeters. We've got an 80 mil top pulley, and I think we saw 11 pounds of peak boost. We revved it to 6,300 RPM and on 98 Ron fuel or unleaded, what was, what do we see? Eight, 866 horsepower at the flywheel. Which talks a lot to the blower efficiency because the IATs are amazing. We've got two very big intercooler cores which are dual pass. Camshafts obviously working extremely well and there was like 750 foot pounds of torque. So yeah. it's a really nice little package. Now timing was fairly conservative at 18 degrees. We switched it over with the same pulley combination to E85 and with some more timing, power jumped up to 930, 940 yep. horsepower and nearly 800 foot-pounds of torque, which you typically see. And again, only at around that 6,300 RPM level. And that's hugely impressive, but conservative in real terms. Oh yeah, we, we could go after so many items to make more power, but something this easy, it just makes power. down low. The dyno struggles to keep up with how much foot pounds it makes down low. Yeah, naturally with this dyno, you've got to start the pull a little bit higher around that 4,000 mark. We're running the 110 integrated throttle plate, 110 millimeters. It's got the drive-by-wire setup, but we also offer that with cable actuation. And the neat thing with these top mount superchargers, we've got three or four different combinations of front covers for throttle body position. So whether the throttle body is pointing to the right, pointing straight or to the left with a smaller 103, for example, so having run the six rib setup, we've got an eight rib combination for those that want more boost. One thing I think is really neat, Frank, with these LT engines, the truck drive is so compact, the alternator's tucked in, the water pump's in the middle, and we've got the eight rib version of this where we relocate the alternator slightly, like we do on the 1500 Silverados, heavy duty tensioner, and we're running a 205 lower pulley with an ATI balancer. 
and an 85 top. So we saw just on a thousand horsepower with only 12 and a half pounds of boost, which is just incredible. Insane, yeah. So pretty awesome numbers with an 85 mil top pulley and only 12 and a half pounds of boost. Like the engine's hardly yeah. even working. So we dropped the pulley, which is the, the usual way to make more boost, down to an 80, and we saw the peak boost go from 12 and a half to 14 and a half, and we saw like another 50 horsepower and 40 foot pounds of torque. And then we also had a 75 mil pulley, and that made just on 16 pounds of boost. Great numbers, relatively low boost, IATs were phenomenal. It's uh, a pretty nice truck combination. So it's worth mentioning, the stock LAT intake manifold sits about 50 mil or two inches lower than what this supercharger does. So the supercharger is naturally too high for most muscle cars, but for the truck guys, it's a perfect combination. I, I would put it in my muscle car. Well, mate, we made some great numbers today with the pulley combinations that we've got. But I think what's really exciting, it's really a junkyard engine. Like, this engine came from the US out of a truck that was in a wreck. Correct. Iron block, forged steel crank from factory, pretty nice heads as cast. And with a few more mods, more boost, camshaft, we could make a lot more. I think it'd be a reliable, high-performance engine, just like an aftermarket combination. Well, let's get back together for the next edition with the L8T engine. Learn more about the LT Top Mount Supercharger on both our Australian and US websites. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.